My brother, my friend, I think we all know it when we worship something wrong about each other. That we bring bad qualities up. And it's the same thing with women. We have been worshipping the wrong kind of woman. And what we as men are very tempted to do is we take the woman that wants to take us. Because we think it's hard enough to get a woman that wants me, that as, let's at least get her. And I'm actually gonna tell you something different today. Don't value the woman that wants you. And also, of course, value her, but value more the woman that has high standards. For us men, high standards have been a thing since the pickup artists have emerged. Since those guys went on the street and just talked to every woman and, shown, and sh showed how easy it is to get a woman, to get a girlfriend. We have all seen, okay, if we have no standards, it's easy. So every man should have his standards set by now. But what about women? I think we should encourage women to have higher standards. Because the worst thing that can happen to a society is weak men. Weak men create hard times. If you see a weak man, he is the cause of the problem, essentially. Of course, he's also the victim of the problem, but the real problem, the underlying problem is TV. That's the underlying problem because think about the life cycle of a woman. She grows up, she plays with her father, but then she watches TV. And what does she see on TV? Weak men being labeled as attractive. Men who, who could be smacked by a strong man. People or men especially who are so emotional, who have no emotional control whatsoever. And they then get taught, this is the real, this, this is like a man. This is the man that I should look up to. And then they grow up and they're in their youth. And the men who they have been shown to be attractive are now attractive to them. Men with no emotional control, men who cry, men who are, are a little bit gay, you know, you know what I mean, right? Men, men who think it is okay to kiss each other and stuff. And I think that women are in such a difficult situation because they have been taught all their life long, yet yeah, this is an attractive man. And now, let's imagine a different scenario. She gets brought up by her father. She, see, she sees, okay, this is a strong man. This is the man that I should be attracted to. And then she gets with a man that is like her father, also strong, masculine, with emotional control. And then that man gives her a baby. And then they raise this baby together. That is how it used to be for decades, centuries, thousands of years. But now we, we sort of went away from this natural thing and we're teaching women that this natural man, this natural man who they should be attracted to is a skinny boy who has no emotional control, who cries, because he loses in a game, who plays video games, who is a weak man, who has never built anything in his life, who doesn't even have control over what he eats and what he doesn't eat. And what happens is that the strong men, they feel bad because the women decide who the winners are. If you as a woman, if you're watching this right now, I know I have like 5% female audience. If you as a woman are watching this right now, you, you need to be aware of what you're doing when you give a man attention. When you give a man attention and when you give him more attention than all the other men around him, you're saying to everyone in that group, this guy's the winner, this is the guy I would choose. And you need to be this drastic 
because subconsciously for men it's like I want the attention of as many women as possible because I want to be with a woman and every man has this this is why this red pill idea is so cringe and so crazy to me because they basically say we don't want women this natural desire that their brain has that their body has for women which is natural and good to have is throttled down by these creators who tell their their they're basically their their viewer their followers to only care about themselves and to not worship women what i'm telling you here is worship the women who have high standards if a woman doesn't choose you because you are not good enough for her worship her because what she is doing is she is basically delaying gratification she could be sleeping with you right now she could be saying, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fuck this guy, I'm gonna, I, I don't care about him anyway. But if a woman really cares about you and you're in a bad position in life, she's not gonna choose you. And we need to re, re-understand this, we need to reframe this rejection of a woman. If a woman rejects you, don't think it's anything but you not being good enough for her. If a woman has high standards, it's the best thing that can happen to you. Women need higher standards and they need new standards so that strong men can come back again. I strongly do believe that this is a setup by society that wants weak men because weak men are easier to control. You need weak men to work in the offices. You need weak men to just tell them, yeah, just work 10 hours a day to barely get your family along for 50 years and then die short of your short of your retirement. You need weak men for this. And women who have low standards create weak men and weak men create, create hard times. So you as a woman, if you're watching this, you need to see how important it is that you don't give weak men your attention or your love because weak men don't deserve that. I'm gonna be as harsh as it is. In my life, I've had this experience many, many times where I was simply too weak for a woman to have her and she rejected me and I always thought it is so negative to reject me. Why don't just go on a date with me and see how I am? But it's the best thing that could have ever happened to me because it pushed me to become stronger and to become a masculine man who actually women can want. So the message of to the girls is don't be afraid to have high standards. High standards attract high standard men. Actually, one of my standards for women is that she has a high standard. If she doesn't have high standards, and I simply look in her past, hey, did she really have that high standard? Because many women say they have high standards. But look in your past, look at what you do, not, what, not at what you think or what you say. What men did you sleep with, if any? What men do you give your attention to? What men do you give your love to? And if those men wouldn't be able to fight for you in a battle, then why take them? It's instant gratification. It's just because you wanted some attention. So postpone this attraction. Add post postpone the, the 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 gratification. I'm sorry. Postpone this and you will find yourself a way greater man. The kind of man every woman fantasizes about is behind the discomfort wall of saying no to low value man. It is behind the wall of being disciplined enough to have a high standard as long as it takes for a high value man to be near you. And for men, the message of this video is don't be afraid, but grateful for women who have high standards. I would say to women have high standards for your time and for who you spend your time with, for who you give your love and your attention to, and for what behavior you want to praise in men, for what behavior you want to award in men. And for men, don't be afraid, but be grateful for high standards. Don't think that a woman who has high standards is a bitch because she's the very opposite of a bitch. 
And don't ever tell a woman you have too high standards because yes, women want much. But think about how motivating this is. Think about a woman who wants a millionaire and she's beautiful. Wouldn't you strive to be a millionaire even more if she told you this? So these are the messages for everyone who watches this video. Increase your standards and increase your realistic standards. Look at what you want to award in men. And this is your standard. The optimal man you could want. You could realistically want. Of course everyone could say, yeah, I want I want a handsome man who's also strong but doesn't but doesn't look too bulky, blah 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 blah. Think about what is a realistic one and then go a little bit above that. A little bit above realistic because realistic everyone can be a realistic everyone can be normal you should push men to work hard for you and you should also be worth it so improve yourself and then increase your standards have a nice day and master your mind